Hi everyone, I'm going to do a general love reading, so this is just whatever the cards want to say. May or may not be for you, just take it if it resonates. Um, I did just do, so I'm having issues with my, uh, my camera phone right now, it will be fixed shortly, but I did just do a third party reading update. It's in two separate videos because my camera cut out, and then I also did a, a reading for those in separation about what the Divine Feminine is feeling and what the Divine Masculine is feeling. And just, you know, regarding communication in general. So check those videos out. There's four in total because I had the, you know, they were split. There's only two readings, but they were split into two parts because of my phone. But bear with me. I'm working on fixing that. Just trying to figure my phone out. But um, anyway, this is a general love reading. So take it if it resonates. Or just whatever the cards want to say. Clubs, parties, social life. Yeah, somebody might be drinking. Somebody might be partying um, or just trying to, you know, trying to uh, live their best life right now, basically. Or I could see this as self-destructive energy, actually, in this context. We have shyness, fear of rejection. Let me move this for you guys. I'm sorry. Put this up a little bit. We've got shyness, fear of rejection. We have courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement, domination, and control. So I feel like this is somebody that's been sabotaging things a little bit. I feel like this is somebody that's maybe afraid of being rejected by you. So they could be drinking to cope with their emotions. They might be... Um, going out to social events, like they might be um, just trying to distract themselves. I also see this as trying to keep up an image, like someone here might be trying to, you know, pretend like they don't love you as much as they really do. Um, someone might be trying to um, just make themselves feel better, distract themselves. This could be you or this could be your person, you know, take it as it resonates. But I think someone's here afraid of re is afraid of rejection. Now, this could be a secret admirer for most of you, though. I feel like this is probably someone that you know, someone that you um, love who loves you back. Who um, It's like mutual feelings. I'm getting like, I keep hearing mutual pain and mutual love. Mutual pain, mutual love. So it's like you guys pick up on each other's pain. You pick up on each other's emotions. And I feel like... It's like ego is getting in the way. Like one or both of you are trying to keep up appearances. Or you're trying to, you know, it's almost like a power struggle. Someone's trying to be dominant. Someone's trying to be in control here. And it's like this, this sphere of rejection. I also take this to be that, you know, someone's been in this energy when they where they've been afraid of rejection. They've been kind of just trying to make themselves feel better and not considering your emotions or vice versa. Where it's like kind of um, just a little bit of an unstable energy here. But someone's going to be courageous and assertive and, you know, have the guts to move forward here with you and kind of, you know, take take their power back, step into this controlling kind of dominant energy. You know, I think someone's realizing that you love them and, you know, it's getting them out of this energy because they're realizing, oh, hey, he or she is actually not going to reject me. I thought they were going to reject me. So I've been in this energy, you know putting on an appearance, trying to make myself feel better. But it's like someone recognizes that their insecurities and their fears are just in their head and that, you know, it's an illusion. It's not, you know, their fears and insecurities are not reality. They're, you know, they were afraid of getting rejected, but now they're realizing that, you know, you're not actually going to reject them. You are actually open to them or, you know, or vice versa. Maybe you're realizing this or your person's realizing this. So someone's moving forward here towards you, it seems like. Someone's being submissive to this love, finally. Someone's opening up. And the divine is helping with this. So we have divine intervention and synchronicity here. So I feel like either your spirit guides or your person's spirit guides or both are what's kind of pushing this along. Because it's like they're um, they're trying to get this person to submit, to, to let go. I also see this. Okay, so there's a couple different messages here. For one, I think that either you or your person has some control issues Someone likes to be in control here and their spirit guides right now are trying to teach them, 
that um, teach them to choose love over fear and also to choose love over money and love over appearances. It's like this person's kind of in this like hermit introspective energy where they're they're realizing how powerful love is. It's like they're giving in to this romantic side of themselves, into this vulnerability finally, you know, and that's part of who they're meant to be. That's part of who they're becoming. They're meant to be someone that's, you know, empathetic and, and vulnerable and loving and passionate. You know, they're finally realizing that money isn't everything. Appearances aren't everything. You know, their, their social status and social images image is just not everything especially if they're around fake toxic people why why would it be everything you know what i mean there's more to life and their spirit guides are showing them that there's more to life that there's another life that they can have um with you or you know this could be you with them take it as it resonates but the divine is basically intervening here and showing them that they can have a life that's different than this energy right here than this fear and this ego type energy right here they can have, you know, true love. They can have abundance. They can have, you know, some of them are meant to do psychic work. Some of them are psychics themselves, but their their powers and abilities are kind of untapped. Like they they know that they're psychic, but they haven't explored it very much. Maybe they're kind of afraid of it, kind of intimidated by it. But the divine is pushing them to go down their psychic path and, you know, do some healing work on themselves and, you know, whoever else. And... And yeah, I feel I feel like the divine is just pushing them to to go down this spiritual path and go down this emotional path. To you know, let go of of always having to be in control, always having to be right about everything, always having to have the last word. Um being caught up in toxic karmic cycles all the time. So the divine is just, it's a really beautiful energy This because they're getting this person, they're getting either you or they're getting your person on this spiritual path. You know, many of you are, um, you know, you're, you're used to being logical and, you know, now you're, you're tapping into this ability to, um, to heal and to, uh, it's like you're, you're getting in touch with your softer side. It's like someone here is giving into love. Finally, someone's been focused on money and appearances and whatever else, and now the divine is intervening to, you know, get this person to submit to love, get this person to stop being so stubborn, stop trying to control their life, stop trying to control everything. So it's kind of like I, what I've been saying for these, um, you know, one of the third party readings I've been doing, I've been getting that the divine masculines are tying up a lot of, um, like they're ending a lot of old karmic cycles with people and also with like stagnant jobs, like unhealth, like toxic work environments but some of these masculines are still holding on to those you know to that old job they're still holding on to, to money and appearances and toxic addictions and toxic people and the divine is stepping in here and intervening to kind of push them to let go of that to let go of the control issues stop trying to control their life stop trying to to get them to stop trying to control their life stop trying to control everything stop trying to be able to predict everything you know um, to like really just let go of the old toxic stagnant job, let go of the old toxic karmics, let go of the old toxic living environments and all toxic friends and even family members, you know, it's time for some major life changes for the divine masculines. And, you know, some of them are scared of these life changes. So some of them are still kind of trying to maintain this sense of like domination and control, because they're not used to all this spiritual energy. They're not used to all this, um, you know, to, to true love and emotions, I feel like with you, it was very different. It wasn't like anything they'd ever had before. So um, many of them are, you know, they're just being pushed. It's like they're still holding on just a little bit. They're starting to let go. They're, they're improving a lot. They're doing way better than they were before. But they still have some res residual uh, control and, and domination issues here that they're being uh, pushed to let go of and pushed to just give in to love, you know, surrender to love, surrender to emotion, Surrender to passion, surrender to their psychic spiritual path, surrender to um, to their higher self and to their spirit guides, to finally listening to their intuition, because some of them are still fighting against their intuition. Some of them are still fighting against their spirit guides because they want to maintain that sense of control. They want things to be comfortable and predictable. And the longer they fight against their spirit guides and fight against their own intuition, the, the more unhappy they're, they're going to be. It's, it's going to be like a downward spiral until they finally surrender and let go of these control issues and surrender to love and surrender to their intuition and their psychic path 
And that path is going to get them, I think some of them are afraid that they're going to let go of it, of, of all the things they've been holding on to. Like say it's like an old toxic job. They're afraid they're never going to make that kind of money again. But little do they know they're actually, the divine actually has a better job in store for them where they're actually going to be making way more money than they were making at this old job, believe it or not. So some of them are, it's like they're trying to hold on to these little breadcrumbs, but if they let go of the breadcrumbs, the divine has, you know, the whole feast right, right prepared for them. You know what I mean? Like they have everything for them already. There's so many things. These, these people that, that keep holding on to old stagnant situations don't even realize that the divine has, um, like I said, this could be you or this could be your person. Take it as it resonates. But the, you know, these people that are holding on to these old control issues don't realize that the divine has everything in store for them. Everything they could want. True love home, family, you know, if they're letting go of an old house, they're going to have a new house with, with their, with their true love. You know, if they're letting go of an old stagnant job, toxic people, all those things are going to be replaced by things that are way better. They're going to be replaced by, um, you know, new energy, like, um, you know, like a new job, a new career, more money, more money someplace else. Um, their spiritual path, their spiritual work, like the divine has this whole, life set up for them this whole life prepared for them like all these blessings all this abundance that they want to give this person but they have to let go of the old energy first they have to let go of the karmic cycles first the old jobs the toxic friends the toxic family members the toxic karmics they have to let go of this energy first and then the divine is going to give them you know everything they could ever dream of if they just submit to love if they just submit to their intuition you know, because they're doing themselves a lot of harm when they ignore their intuition and fight against their intuition. They're actually really hurting themselves because their intuition is there to protect them. So they need to be mindful of that. Like, you know, don't hold on to an old toxic job when you know in your gut it's time to leave just because you're afraid of, you know, financial struggles or not making that money again. Like the divine already knows what's going on. They, they already know. They already have that plan for you. They already have something they already have a better job in store for you. They already have more money in store for you someplace else. But you have to be willing to take that leap of faith. Yeah, and make your move. Green light. Yeah, some of you guys are, are telepathically communicating with your true love right now, too. There's dreams, visions, telepathy, spying. Someone's going to openly communicate here. Someone's going to get a message, I'm feeling. Either you're going to get a message or it's time to send your person a message. So I feel like psychically, too, if you listen to your dreams, your visions, telepathic communication, you know, like the divine is telling you that could be another thing that the divine is telling you it's time to communicate with somebody. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Choose a path. Happiness, form, stability. Or ha I said stability. That was, it was interesting. I meant to say happiness, warmth, light. Yeah, so someone here is kind of choosing a path. Do you want this energy, this jealousy, this conflict, this this hostility? Like, this is like ego. This is two people that really love each other, but it's like they're both upset. They're both hurt, and they both just want to be together. So it's like, do you want to be in that energy of, you know, conflict and, and issues that don't need to be there? Or do you want your happiness? Do you want true love? Do you want, you know, warmth, light? Like, this is this is true love right here, and you can choose that. But you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. You have to be willing to listen to your intuition. Listen to your spirit guides. Um, be open and honest. But yeah, someone here is getting a message or someone here is sending a message. Truth and clarity. Yeah, there's some kind of truth that's also coming out on social media is what I'm feeling. That somebody's sad. So somebody is going to get like, somebody's going to have this public realization that somebody's sad. Um... I feel like, so this could be your, this could be your person, take it how it resonates, but it's like somebody here, um, okay, so here's the story I'm getting. If you hurt somebody, or if somebody hurt you, there was this illusion that this person was cold and guarded and distrusting. Like, like, let's say that you hurt someone. I think someone manipulated you. And deceived you like someone there's could be like a karmic energy here like could be a third party a third party isn't always romantic like this could be like a boss or a co-worker or like a close friend 
or someone that just doesn't want to see you like move move away or something like that. Someone manipulated you and deceived you here into thinking that this person that you love is cold and guarded and distrusting and um you know not open to you but now you're going to realize the truth because we have truth and clarity here and we have publicity social media so something's going to be made public where someone's going to realize that you were actually sad you're actually or you're you're going to realize this about your person you're going to either you're going to realize that your person is actually sad they're not guarded they're not cold like you thought they were that was your insecurities talking to you and it was also people this could be your own insecurities and your own fears um like your own shadow side that you haven't integrated, um, kind of deceiving you and making you think the worst, making you assume the worst, making you assume that this person you love is cold and guarded. But now you're coming to these epiphanies and you're realizing the person that you love is not cold. They're not guarded at all. They're actually just really sad. They're really heartbroken and they really love you and they're longing for you and they're missing you. You know, and that truth is going to be made made clear publicly it could be made clear on social media it could just be made clear on some some kind of public platform um you know for others this could be you where you feel like your person like maybe you like say so you feel like your person's cold and guarded but this could also be um you know the other way around where someone thinks um you're cold and guarded and they're realizing now that you actually were just heartbroken that maybe maybe you got in an argument and or something for some of you and you were expressing pain and they thought that um you were angry and now they're realizing that you were actually just really sad about something yeah miscommunication anger miscommunication so someone's going to have the willpower and strength and confidence to get through this and to reconcile you know yeah because there was people around there's toxic people around that wanted to keep this this person down red the, you know what i mean they wanted to to someone had um hidden motives hesitation mixed feelings mental instability yeah for some this is your own mental instability or your person's own mental instability like their own fears um beauty mystery enchantment yeah someone's ending that pattern though and it doesn't mean that you're just going to be mentally stable overnight or anything like, it takes work, you know, to be mentally stable. But somebody here is at least realizing that, you know, that was their own fear or their own insecurity or it was the toxic people around them trying to keep them from reconciling with their true love. And now they're ending those patterns and cycles. They're breaking through. They're having this freedom. They're taking their power back, willpower, strength, confidence. And um, finally, you know, end, like I said, ending toxic karmic cycles. They're not listening to toxic people around them anymore. They're not listening to their own fears and insecurities anymore. They're finally, this person, whoever this is, whether it's you or someone else, is finally listening to and trusting their intuition, trusting their dreams and visions, trusting, you know, what's right in front of them and, you know, going towards reconciliation with their true love. They're realizing that their true love isn't angry and guarded and distrusting. Their true love is just sad. Somebody's here is having this epiphany that their true love is heartbroken they're not closed off they're not angry they're heartbroken and that's why they act or said the things that they said or, or why their energy seems that way it's like well there's a lot of pain that doesn't mean that they're that doesn't mean they hate you just because they're in pain I feel like this person's in this person's really sad but they miss you I feel like this is mutual pain I keep hearing mutual pain mutual love like both these people are really missing each other and longing for each other and wanting to reconcile and someone here you know the ball is in someone's court here they just had to get past their own fears and insecurities and karmic lessons and toxic people around them and end these cycles and start listening to their intuition, listening to their dreams. Some of them are dreaming about you. You know, this, their spirit guides are really intervening here and pushing them towards you, you know, to reconcile here. You know, so someone here is finally stepping into their power to end these cycles, you know, to be strong, to be confident to push past their fears and um, reconcile with their true love. So it's a really beautiful energy. I hope it resonates. As always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And uh, check out my other readings too. I did a couple others as well um, today. So check those out too if you're in my third party group. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe too if it resonates.